very heavily on the tanks and some Goli and some Goliaths alongside. So he's going to try to play some standard Terran play on the opposite side. We do see Midas going to get that academy going, going to get a factory going, I think, before his couple of factories going. Yeah, he yeah, should have done that just before his barracks dies in the air. And Flash is building, in the, building his third command center, but he's not going to be able to really plant that down. He's going to move out a little bit with some of his Goliaths. Also, Mines out there does scan the area. So he's going to be able to clear some of these mines up. A few mines going to be... Oh, one mine going to blow up right in his face. Two mines going to blow up right in his face. A uh, couple of guys going to go down. One heavily damaged tank. We're going to see who actually moves on with a CV or something in that position to repair that. But meanwhile, Midas going to be able to put down his third refinery while Flash's third base is going to be heavily delayed. Five tanks and a bunch of vultures moving up towards that upper right and uh, upper left in position. And Flash is going to be out of position with his own tanks. Midas is going to have a superior tank number alongside those vultures to act as, act as a heavy support. Pardon me. Excuse him. Wow. Oh, one tank moves in and dies instantly. Four tanks out there for Flash. Midas still has his five, still has those vultures. Don't think they have any mines on them there. So, yeah, they try to move out the initial. The only thing they can really do at this point, try to absorb some shots. Going to go in, go in for the kill at the, at the tank at their upper right hand, uh, that right hand bridge. So, on the left hand bridge now. And Flash still in lesser numbers has that barracks there. So, the only advantage he has, it has the barracks to act as a spotter for him. But still not going to be able to hold this position very well. It's going to be forced to move his barracks and forced to just slow, make a slow retreat. Engineer being now coming up there. So finally going to see some turrets for Midas, possibly just to set up his positions just in case Flash decides to go for drop ship, dropships. And this does look like a very standard build. Does look as Flash is going to be able for dropships. Going to go out and clear his position at the 4 o'clock with tanks. I think he used up a scan first before he did anything else. Adding in a fourth factory. Now he is behind in factory cannon. He is behind in economy. So Midas def definitely ahead so far. Not an advantage that Flash can't turn around, but still also going to lose these tanks at that at those bridges. Has some more tanks at the back, but I think Midas is going to be able to move in. Unless reinforcements are coming for Flash, Midas is going to be able to clear those out. Going to siege up. Oh, moving in close with those uh, wraiths. Uh, sorry, vultures as well. Flash is going to have some reinforcements coming in from the back, but still I feel Midas is in a slightly better position. Flash, thankfully for him, does have a barracks that act as a spotter, so I think he might clear that tank number up and just not getting his third going. At this point, I think the players are going to be fighting for the corners, and it's a question of which corner you might want to take for yourself. It's also a question of which is the quicker resupply route. Flashman is going to go for the start port, so he's most likely going to be going the dropship route. But the upper right hand corner, I feel, is a slightly more closed off position it has bridges which mind you two tanks can pass across I believe so it's still a very large position both uh, both positions are rather large and the lower left position at least uh, there are ramps for you to fight on higher ground but still you can turn up and both can be fairly well defended positions so it's what you really want to do I feel that an attack from the air is more viable on the lower left end. So if you're going to defend against aerial attacks, take the lower left end. If you, if you're going to, uh, and I feel that uh, ground attacks are less viable at the upper right right hand. Wait a minute, is I, am I, did I say that wrong? Ground attacks are less. I feel less viable at the lower left hand. Yes, that's what I wanted to say. I feel ground attacks are slightly less viable at the lower left end, and I feel that. Air attacks are slightly less viable at the right, at the upper right hand. That's what I wanted to say. Dear God, confusing myself. Flash, meanwhile, as I say that, already has exp uh, Midas. I'm sorry, God, I'm again doing this. Midas has expanded the inside. Well, yeah, kind of inside uh, nine o'clock, and also d picked up the double gas. The lower at, well, at, uh, at the lower left hand. I don't know if Flash is going to be able to leave that alone for too long. He's meanwhile going to pick up his upper right hand to counter to uh, counteract this. Uh, gonna try to pick up his own double gas, and I think this is gonna it's gonna be the focal part of this entire matchup. It's gonna be these two players fighting for the upper right hand corner bases. Probably gonna be seeing the most battles around that because Odd Eye does not lend itself to a huge battle down the middle because of simply that the entire middle, a large or a large part of the middle, is not has nothing on there. Meanwhile, Flash moving down with a couple of tanks and Goliath to go out there to the left and clearing that entire position up. As he meanwhile picks up the upper right hand for himself. Midas meanwhile has a lot of forces on the ground. So if he decides to move out towards that upper right hand, he's going to be able to go and clear it up pretty easily. Might move towards the lower left and try to pick it up. But I think actually it's more important for him at this point to just deny bases for Flash rather than pick up any of his own. Because he does have an advantage. He does have four bases, mining, 
as Flash tries to pick up the for his fourth at the upper right hand and tries to pick that up for himself as his fourth base. Might as mean we're going to have vultures and tanks coming across the bridges. You see a lot of force come across these bridges and try to siege up. Vultures can come in to absorb some shots. Going to come in close to the tanks, pick those off. Minus gonna, uh, Flash is going to have some reinforcements. Minus is in a very good position. A lot of tanks already has crossed those bridges. Lost a lot of his vultures, but a few will still come, off, uh, come in to help. As he's coming off the lawn, they die pretty quickly. Might is still in a very heavy, very heavy tank position here and Flash really doesn't manage to reinforce quite as well. Still has, but manages to uh, force a splash on some of the tanks of Midas thanks to his SCVs and gonna force and be able to float off, I'm sorry, his uh, command center. Uh, once in the dropship running, uh, flying towards the upper right position. Dropship, dropships do not run. Right chain. On the opposite side, Midas gonna go for Wraiths. One single start, but with Wraiths inside, so that's gonna be his counter to it. He's actually very interesting builds, very, uh, very interesting builds. Midas actually not gonna stick to standard play. Dropship Goliath tank. He's gonna go for Wraiths, which is gonna continue the Wraith prediction. Of course, the Wraiths, if if you find some tanks out in the open with a decent number of Wraiths, you're gonna be able to pick that tank off. Not too quickly, but still, you know, uh, quickly enough so that if he tries to repair, it's gonna be, you know, not gonna not gonna happen. Flash can try to move in with more reinforcements towards the upper right hand, but at the very least, Midas has done the job he needs to do. He needs to just hold his position here. Doesn't even try need to try to clean these forces up of Flashes. He just needs to go up there, clean that up. Also, Midas picking up the 12 o'clock base. Yet another command center for him. Fifth base out there for Midas to flash his three. So he's completely out microing Flash. Flash actually looking like a little bit in trouble. He is going to pick up the lower left hand, try to counter his loss. The upper right hand picking up yet another gas for himself, but Midas in a very good position overall. He still has a lot of those vultures. Vultures really paying off for him, giving him the positioning across the entire map, giving him the spotting. He has those mines all over the place. And just going to be able to be very maneuverable with it. Flash can try to counter that maneuverability with his own dropship, but he has to very but he has to be very careful because those rates are in play now. They do get countered by Goliaths, especially when they have Caron boosters and don't have any cloak, as Midas' current rates do not have. But still, Flash is in a much more vulnerable position. Never mind the fact that Midas is two bases over him. Those rates really could render these dropships completely useless. Going to be able to catch two of these dropships. Thankfully, one Goliath down there for Flash. Karen Boost is going to be able to push these rates back. It's not going to be a question for Midas to go to his low left hand position and push there. He really will be able to do so. One, uh, Flash is ahead in the upgrades of war, but, uh, you know, 2-1, uh, not really that important. Unless you're two ahead, you're, you're, you're good. You're good for now. Uh, Flash is going to be able to continue dropship production, but he really, as I've said already, he really has to be very careful in how he does that. Only sitting on five factories. Only 